if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is McKenna and I have rheumatoid disease, also known as rheumatoid arthritis. But arthritis is only one symptom. It affects the entire body, like all the organs, the skin, eyes, everything. And in this video, I'm going to talk about my experience with RA medication. The first medication, well, let's backtrack just a little bit. Disclaimer, if I say throw it out the window, <laughs> I don't really mean throw it out the window. That's just something I like to say, meaning in the garbage or recycled. So, don't take it personal when I say throw it out the window. Just means don't like it. Okay, let's jump right on into this video and let's get started. The first medication that I tried for RA was hydrochloric Chloroquine? Hydrochloroquine? Quin? Oh my. I tried that medicine that I can't even pronounce and it didn't go very well. It made my symptoms worse. My pain was worse. Um, the fatigue was worse. And the overall like bruising feeling that I felt all over my body and still feel was intensified. So, got rid of that one. And that one was a pill. Then I tried methotrexate. First I tried the pill form. And then I tried the injection form. Here it is. This is the only one that I never used. And have another one here you can see that's the needle these are called resuvo it's just the methotrexate form and injections first I tried the pills and then they were making my stomach hurt so then I moved on and tried the injections and they just weren't effective the pills didn't work the injections didn't work didn't do anything for me and I also had the bad side effect of really bad fatigue which is pretty normal to have like a methotrexate hangover as they call it the next day afterwards except that was lasting a few days for me so out the window with that one and then the next one I tried was Otesla and that one made me vomit every single day about an hour or two after I took it and then I'd be sick the whole rest of the day and if I took it at night time before bed, I'd fall asleep for just a little bit and then I'd wake up feeling nauseous as heck and then end up throwing up. So got rid of that and that was also a pill. And then we moved on and we did Simzia and that looks like this. This one is the only one that I've ever tried that was in just the syringe. Everything else that I've tried are sure click pins. This one is by far the worst injection that I've tried. I hated it. It was awful because there was a lot more medication. It was filled up to where's the one on here? Right about there. So all that was medication as opposed to the other ones which were very little okay and this one felt like syrup it was very thick and as you injected it even if you went really slow it stung really bad it was awful it was the worst one and that one ended up being ineffective for me too so out the window with that one and then I moved on to Humira, and this is the SureClick pen, it's the injection, like this is what it looks like, you can kind of see the needle right there, it's just a pen, you take both the ends off, it goes down on the skin, click, boom, that's how this one works. I got a bad rash and the doctor said it was from Humira, although 
I'm not 100% certain, but that's what they truly believe. So we stacked Humera and got rid of that one. And then we moved on to Embro. And it's kind of where the needle, you can kind of see it through there. This one's a little bent for some reason. Embryo worked really well for me. It made me have less days in bed. Although I still struggle with doing a lot of things on the day-to-day -day basis, such as showering and walking up and down stairs and just other various things that people do on a daily basis. But I felt a little less limited. I felt like I could do a little bit more. So it was helping. And the rest of these medications are there to slow down the progression of your rheumatoid arthritis. And so it doesn't destruct your bones and stuff as quickly. There's no cure to this. So we use these medications to try to slow it down so we don't have as bad of erosion and symptoms and whatever else that, you know, comes along with it. We want to suppress that and slow it down. And this worked. Embryo worked for me. Although I wasn't in total remission, it was a good medication and I used it for a year and a half. And then I started getting massive hives wherever I did the injection. They were huge about this big. And because of those, my doctor said, look, you're having too much of an allergic reaction. We need to stop this medication. We need to move on to something else. So I stopped this medication. And this is the first medication that after I stopped, I felt really bad after because it was helping. And then because I stopped it, I had a flare and now I am on Zelgians, the one a day pill and that seems to be going alright for me. I don't know that it's necessarily helping yet but it's also too early to tell. But I like the idea of it being a pill and not an injection. No matter how many times you do the injections on yourself it, it doesn't get easier. You get more used to it, but it's not easier. In fact, I'd say it almost gets harder the more you do them, opposed to doing them every once in a blue moon. Doing them every single week, you have to kind of talk yourself up a little bit before you actually do it, and then, then you can do it. Otherwise, you just sit there and you're like, ooh, what am I going to press the button? Nobody wants that. So, you just can't think way too much about it. And my best advice is when you are giving yourself the injection, if you do these, is just to keep counting to three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Till it's over. Because that seems to help me get through it. And maybe it'll help you, maybe it won't, but you know, it's always worth a try. And that seems to be the trick for me. Although it still sucks, it works. But now that I'm on the pill, one a day, I take it at night. I don't seem to have really too many side effects from it that I have noticed yet. So we'll see what happens. And I'll keep you guys updated on that. But that is it for today's video. Those are the medications that I used for RA specifically so far because of my awesome rheumatologist and what they've done for me to try to help me. So I'll see you guys next time on my next video. Bye.